In the northeast of the Iberian Peninsula, on the Mediterranean coast, lies a city like no other. The warm sea hugs the city beaches, the birds sing from atop tree-lined avenues, and the markets burst at the seams with delicacies. Behind narrow streets quietly whispering centuries of history to each other, you find wide boulevards marked by pinnacles of human creativity. Welcome to Barcelona. Today, we're going to give you a brief introduction to the city and what it has to offer, as well as some tips for sites and activities. Once you're inspired to visit Barcelona yourself, click the link below and check out our Spain offer. More about this at the end of the video. Now, let's get some facts right before we jump into the top things to see and do in Barcelona. The country of Spain is divided into 17 autonomous regions, some of which you have probably heard of. Andalusia, La Rioja, Galicia, and the most important one for today, Catalonia. The history of Catalonia is long and complicated, but here are the most important facts you should know. There is an active independence movement, and the Catalan people speak their own language. That means that while Castellano or Standard Spanish will easily get you through the day in Barcelona, learning a few phrases in Catalan might go a long way with the locals. Lastly, Barcelona is the capital of Catalonia. It is, however, not the capital of Spain. That is Madrid. And we will talk more about Madrid in upcoming months, so hit that subscribe button. Okay, now that we're all on the same page, let's jump right in with number one. Stroll around the labyrinth-like streets of the Gothic Quarter. Some of the best examples of Barcelona's over 2,000 years of history can be found here, in the heart of old Barcelona. So can neo-Gothic structures from less than 100 years ago. This quarter was heavily influenced by renovation projects ahead of the 1929 International Exhibition, as well as intentional monumentalization efforts between 1927 and 1970. Today, it blends actual historical buildings with their newer counterparts perfectly. A great example of such work is the Cathedral of Barcelona. Its interior beautifully represents the grandiose Gothic style of the 14th century in which it was completed. However, the facade, often crowning Instagram-worthy views, is an addition ordered in the late 19th century and finished in 1913. Enter the cathedral to see that the visit is worth it, not just for the architectural value, but for the unique views of Barcelona accessible from the cathedral's roof terrace. The Gothic quarter is made for getting lost in its streets, soaking up the medieval, albeit fabricated, atmosphere. Another great example is the Santa Maria del Mar church, unmissable on your stroll around the Gothic quarter. Today, visitors can find a secret Easter egg on one of the stained glass windows. The coat of arms of more than a soccer club, the famous FC Barcelona, who helped fund the reconstruction of these windows. Before we move on to the next point, let's mention the de facto border between the Gothic Quarter and the neighboring district of El Raval, the world-famous promenade of La Rambla. We'll mention La Rambla several times throughout this video, as it is not only an important and iconic street, but also a convenient congregation point for tourists in Barcelona. It connects the busy Plaza de Catalunya with the Columbus Monument at the seafront. Lined by trees that provide refreshing shade, La Rambla stretches for three quarters of a mile and is lined by monuments, as well as its famous flower shops. As you make your way down La Rambla, venture into one of the side streets to discover Plaza Real, a lively square with numerous restaurants and a relaxed atmosphere. Looking around the plaza, you will notice a pair of lampposts standing out. Their animalistic features and busy mix of materials make them a common object of study and photography by tourists. But that's not the only reason. 
They're also one of the first projects of a young Catalan architect you might have heard of, Anthony Gaudi. Which conveniently moves us to... Number two, get to know the unique architectural style that is modernista. You have definitely seen at least one Gaudi building before in pictures. Their distinctive style, free-flowing form and decorative elements has made several of them symbols of Barcelona itself. But please, don't also forget that Gaudi's works aren't by far the only examples of the modernista architecture in Barcelona. Before we dive deeper into the works of Antoni Gaudi, let's have a look at what Modernisme is and where it came from. Modernisme, or Modernista, is basically the Catalan take on Art Nouveau. Popular at the turn of the 20th century, the style is linked to the Catalan nationalist movement and characterized by the use of unconventional architectural principles. Broadly speaking, Modernista structures are richly decorated with elements borrowing from the natural world. They often follow curves rather than straight lines, creating dynamic shapes. Barcelona is basically the world capital of this architectural style and embraces its legacy with a special modernisme route, marked by red paving stones on the ground. One of the founders and most prominent architects of the Catalan modernisme movement was Louis Domenech y Montaner. Two of his masterpieces, both declared UNESCO World Heritage Sites today, should not be missing from your Barcelona bucket list. The complex of 12 hospital pavilions turned into a museum that is Hospital de Sant Pau and the Palau de la Musica Catalana, Palace of Catalan Music. Clear example of the modernista architecture with a myriad of different decorative elements. You can just enjoy a visit and marvel at the gorgeous stained glass skylight or opt for a classical music concert and experience the building in all of its beauty. And now it's time to finally move on to the behemoth that is Antoni Gaudi. He was the architect that took the modernista style and shaped it to create something entirely unique and his own. Many of his creations are now world famous and seven of them, all in or near Barcelona, are now protected as UNESCO World Heritage Sites. We don't have time to list them all, but let's look over some of the most important ones. Starting with Parc Gué. One of the most famous views of Barcelona can be seen from the mosaic terrace of this park complex. Despite requiring a ticket to enter, Parc Gué is a great space for leisure and relaxation, as well as a showcase of Gaudi's style and ideas. In Barcelona city center, Several buildings by Gaudi attract crowds. One of the oldest among them and one of the earliest commissions by Gaudi's patron Eusebi Gué is the Palau Gué. As the former private residence of the Gué family, this medieval-inspired building captures visitors not only with its interiors, but also its rooftop with 20 decorative chimneys, a feature of Gaudi's work seen in other structures as well. Most famous among them are the guardians on the roof of Casa Mila, also known as La Pedrera or the Quarry. Another noteworthy, albeit controversial, building by Gaudi. Just three blocks down from Casa Mila is the so-called Block of Discord, a block of modernista buildings sharing the same facade. The most colorful of them is Gaudi's Casa Batlló, another former family house with beautiful interiors and rooftop views. The next door Casa Amatye is also worth a mention and a quick stop, having been designed by the third most important modernist architect, José Puig y Carafal. And before we finally leave the modernista style behind, we have to mention Antoni Gaudí's most famous work and the current symbol of Barcelona, the Sagrada Familia Basilica. Sagrada Familia stuns millions of visitors every year with its sheer size and intricate design. Antoni Gaudi dedicated a substantial portion of his life to the Basilica, but died long before any significant part was finished. Similarly, whether we will get to see the construction finalized is yet to be seen, as it's still being built today, and has been continuously since 1882, stopping only during the Spanish Civil War and the COVID-19 pandemic. 
visit of the interior is definitely worth your time, especially in the morning, as the first light hits the stained glass windows and brings color to the concrete forest inside. Opt in for a visit of the viewing towers as well to see unique views of Barcelona and a closer look at the nature-inspired roof elements so characteristic of Gaudi's designs. At the end of your visit, don't miss the museum retelling the entire story of the basilica and peek into the active workshop to catch glances of the church being built. And now, finally, let's move on with our exploration of Barcelona too. Number three, enjoy Barcelona's public beach, La Barceloneta. Being able to take the metro basically all the way to a sandy beach is not a feature of every city, but Barcelona has just that. Located next to a traditional fishing district and just a stone's throw away from some of Barcelona's biggest monuments, this sandy strip of coast is also one of the oldest, having been artificially created in the 90s for the Olympic Games held in the city. Today, it is a lively and favorite beach full of opportunities for everyone. Swimming, bars, art, both permanent and ephemeral, facilities like showers and toilets, and so much more. Take a dip in the sea or just walk along the beach promenade to enjoy one of Barcelona's stunning sunsets. Don't also forget to peek into the Barceloneta neighborhood to soak up its lively atmosphere and eat some delicious seafood tapas. Speaking of tapas, number four, eat tapas. Eat a lot of tapas. Arguably Spain's greatest food invention, tapas are basically finger foods served alongside drinks and enjoyed both sitting down and standing up. Whether you taste a delightful Spanish potato tortilla, various types of soft and creamy croquettes, signature Iberian ham, any of the numerous kinds of delicious seafood options or anything and everything else on offer, you won't be disappointed. Drink some cava or vermouth with your tapas and experience how Barcelonians spend their evenings by hopping between different tapas establishments. If you decide to travel with J-Way Travel, you won't have to worry. We make sure to put our guests on the best tapas tour in Barcelona, whether that's a private tour or an intimate small group experience. Let a knowledgeable and local guide show you around the city's best tapas places, explain Barcelona's history, and help you taste a wide variety of traditional tapas you might not have tried out otherwise. Barcelona's best kept secrets are just a few clicks away. Book your custom trip to Spain today through the link in the description or wait till the end of the video for more information. Tapas bars aren't the only places to stop and taste everything Spain has to offer. Barcelona is also famous for its lively food markets. Which brings us to... Number 5. Visit a market in Barcelona. The most famous food market in Barcelona is situated right on the previously mentioned La Rambla and has been running since the early 19th century. Welcome to La Boqueria, an unmissable stop on your exploration of Barcelona. We recommend visiting early in the morning and enjoying a lovely breakfast at the market or stopping by right before closing time for lesser crowds. Whenever you visit, don't miss the chance to buy some presents to bring home or simply collect a first-class feast for yourself to enjoy as a picnic later in the day. May we, perhaps, recommend a leisurely stroll to Park de la Ciutadella, a large green space located on the side of a former military citadel and a perfect place for some relaxation. Enjoy your snacks with the view of the Cascada, a magnificent fountain and waterfall, or the nearby boating lake. If you choose to follow this advice, you will be picnicking on the side where the 1888 World's Fair took place. So don't miss the largest of its remnants, the great Arc de Triomphe nearby. But food isn't the only thing available in Barcelona's markets. Don't miss the Mercat dels Ancans, one of Europe's oldest and largest second-hand markets, 
With over 300 shops and numerous restaurants, this open-air market hall transforms into a truly unique space every other day. Knickknacks, treasures, bargains, the market has it all in a wonderful combination of modernity and tradition. And now, it's time to leave Barcelona behind for a little bit. Number 6. Enjoy a day trip. Look, we all know that Barcelona is beautiful, but that is no reason not to take any of the beautiful day trips that it offers, such as hiking up the Montserrat mountain. Visit the postcard perfect mountain range of Montserrat and breathe in the fresh mountain air on a small hike surrounded by awe-inspiring views. Visit the Benedictine Abbey and taste some local delicacies at the local market. Or discover the Catalan coastline on a day trip to Costa Brava. As a J-Way guest, you can choose a private or small group tour to visit the stunning area and have a knowledgeable and entertaining guide show you around as well as take you further. Visit the quaint medieval town of Pals and then venture further to see the ancient city of Girona. Stroll through the medieval streets and Game of Thrones filming locations and learn more about the Catalan Jewish community of the Middle Ages. Ask about this one-of-a-kind experience when booking your own custom trip to Spain at jwaytravel.com. But maybe you prefer to learn about the region's history through a glass of bubbly? Well, that's perfect because our next item on the bucket list is also a day trip option. Number 7. Drink Cava. Cava is a refreshing and light sparkling wine with a protected destination of origin status, just like French Champagne, but for a fraction of the price. We highly recommend discovering both the taste and history of this delightful beverage while visiting the Penedès wine region. Explore old wine cellars, drive through vineyards and taste exquisite glasses of bubbly accompanied by the most delectable regional snacks. Simply let the experience melt on your tongue or take the opportunity to order some bottles to your home to relive your days in Barcelona with friends and family. But even if you don't have the time to leave the city for an invigorating day of wine and stories, don't worry. Because Cava is as Catalan as Barcelona and available in many restaurants and bars. A glass of Cava alongside delicious tapas might just be the perfect way to end your day of exploration in Barcelona. And before we leave you, Let's see number 8 and visit our favorite topic. Enjoy the view from one of Barcelona's abundant viewpoints. Barcelona is full of amazing viewpoints, whether that's specific viewing towers, rooftop establishments or any of the nearby hills and mountains. We've already mentioned the roof of the Cathedral of Barcelona as well as the viewing towers of Sagrada Familia. But there's so much more. We've briefly touched on the Columbus Monument, located at the end of the La Rambla Avenue. But did you realize you can also visit the inside of it? Take the elevator located inside of the column and ascend to almost 200 feet high and savor some of the most unique views of La Rambla and Barcelona's port. From here, you will notice a cable car in the distance, bringing people from the port all the way to the admissible Montjuic mountain. If you find yourself in the port, take the opportunity to ride this cable car for yet another perspective on Barcelona. Or just visit the Montjuic hill on its own and take in the various viewpoints and green spaces. Don't forget to pay a visit to the Montjuic castle. Not only are the views from the fort itself one of the best in Barcelona, but you can also enjoy various expositions or grab a snack in the cafe. On your way down back to the city center, stop by the Palau Nacional, a stunning palace and a legacy of the 1929 International Exhibition. And don't worry about the stairs, escalators are available on the sides of the grand staircase. However, Montjuic is not the only notable mountain in Barcelona. Make your way all the way to Tibidabo and ride the funicular to the monumental Sagrat Cor Church, which you most likely will have already seen tower above Barcelona. 
admire the mosaics inside the church, or visit the charming Tibidabo amusement park, perfect for anyone traveling with children. We would also love to briefly acknowledge the viewing platform at Torre Glorias, right next to the previously mentioned second-hand market hall. Offering yet another perspective on the city, it is one of the best places to see Sagrada Familia from, as it is the closest tall building near the basilica. And lastly, you don't have to climb up high to enjoy wonderful views of Barcelona. Let us take you on a serene sunset cruise through the city's port. Sip on a glass of cava, taste some tapas, and listen to the stories about the city's skyline and tranquil guitar music. Watch Barcelona transform from day to night and see the lights flicker as the day comes to an end. Oh, how nice. And you know what else is coming to an end? <laughs> this video! We hope you enjoyed our introduction to the city of Barcelona. Truth be told, Barcelona might just have too much to offer to squeeze into a singular video. So, you'll have to visit the city for yourself to see it all. And is there a better way to see the Catalan capital than a custom tour configured to your specific interests and needs? Whether you're more of a history buff, outdoor enthusiast, a curious gourmand, architecture lover or any other type of traveler, we're ready to accommodate you and whoever you decide to travel with. You can see that just watching a video scraping the very surface of Barcelona's offer is pretty long. Now, imagine how long would planning your own vacation take? Let us take care of the annoying parts of traveling for you and enjoy what our guests call a seamless and hassle-free experience for yourself with our on-ground support from our local representatives. Check out our sample Spain itineraries by clicking the link below or contact our experts directly at jwaytravel.com and get your own custom trip plan. We can't wait to have you in Barcelona. In the meantime, that will be all from us today. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel for more informative videos and let us know what we've missed in this video about Barcelona. I will see you next time. Bye for now!